Now let's talk about work and heat transfer. So let us first of all have a look at what do we understand by the term heat interaction or heat transfer to and from the system. Okay. Now first of all understand what is heat. What is heat? Now heat is basically a form of energy that is by the virtue of temperature. Okay. So you can say that heat is in a way function of temperature is it right higher the temperature more will be the heat into the uh, of the system and less the temperature less would be the heat content of the system okay now any system would interact with the surroundings by two methods either it will in interact with the help of work interaction or it would interact with the help of heat interaction and both of these interactions occur at the boundary okay so if i draw a system like this this is the system and these are the surroundings okay so either a system would you know interact with the surrounding via heat transfer so you would have heat flowing out of the system or flowing into the system okay or you would have work into the system or work from the system okay so these are the only ways through which a system would interact with the surroundings okay now as we were talking about heat first of all so i told you that heat is a function of temperature okay so uh, we can say that <clears throat> more the heat more the temperature more the temperature higher is the heat content higher is the heat content okay now you see heat basically is called a low grade energy okay so this is a very important term low grade energy now what do we understand by this this grade basically determines the convertibility of heat into work or work into heat okay so we are saying that heat is a low grade energy this means the complete conversion of heat into work is not possible we cannot convert 100% of heat into work for example if you supply let us say 100 joule of heat to the system you can never get 100 joule of work from the system this is never possible you would be getting somewhere about depending upon how you are efficient the system is you would be getting somewhere near let us say uh, 75 joules okay this means 25 joules of heat is lost so the complete conversion is never possible so that is why we say that heat is a low grade energy because the 100% conversion of heat into an equal amount of work is never possible okay this means that whatever heat you supply you would have less than or equal to amount of work okay i would say less than so this is always more this is always less now to make it equal to q you would have to add something over here and that is delta u so this becomes equal to okay so this is a term which we call internal energy and you can note down this expression because this is something we will discuss in the forthcoming videos we will not discuss this right now okay so to make it equal to q you add delta u over here and delta u is your change in internal energy okay now internal energy is the energy which is stored in the system and this is due to the virtue of the molecular motion the chemical energy okay the potential energy of the molecules so all those energies they amount to internal energy so this is denoted as u which is also a function of temperature so higher the temperature higher would be your internal energy okay so this is one concept you should understand right now let's talk about the sign convention for heat right now 
Now, first of all, heat will only flow if there is a delta T. If delta T exists, then only you will have a heat flow. If delta T is 0, then there is no heat flow. Okay. So, let us say we have some delta T occurring between system and surroundings. So, let us say system and surroundings are at two different temperatures. So, when you have heat flowing from the system into the surroundings, okay, that is uh, heat from the system to the surrounding. So, the heat from the system is taken to be negative and heat to the system is taken to be positive. Okay, why so? Now see, to remember this, consider the system as your servant. Okay. Now, you can put heat input or heat interaction analogous to anger. Okay. You get angry at your servant. So, if your servant, okay, so first of all, let me talk about system. If your system is throwing heat to the surroundings, so surroundings is you, you are the surroundings, okay. So, if your system is throwing heat into the surroundings, that is, if the servant is throwing anger at you, then you will not be happy. So, that is negative. But if the surrounding is throwing heat to the system or you are getting angry at your servant then you would be happy so that is positive so heat from the system is negative heat into the system is always positive okay so remember this sign convention for the heat transfer okay now let's come to the earth transfer now as we discussed that a system only interacts you know interacts with the surroundings via two ways if it is not heat at the boundary, it has to be work. Okay. So, work is the second mode of interaction of a system with the surroundings. Now, as we discussed that heat is a low grade energy which flows from one body to the other body due to a temperature difference. It only flows till the time temperature difference becomes zero. Alright. Now, work work transfer uh, you know basically happens at the boundary in the uh, shape of some shaft work you have some displacement work okay you have some flow work so all these different types of work they happen across the boundary either to the system or from the system okay now as the grade of energy was low for heat you have 100% conversion of work into heat this means work is a high grade energy okay so work is a high grade energy because whatever work you supply you get equal amount of heat generation okay Now, if you look at this interaction of work, that is either you can supply work to the system or the system can supply work to the surroundings. But taking the same analogy between the system and surroundings as system being your servant and surroundings being you. Okay. So, work is something, you know, uh, when a servant does work for you, you feel happy. So, when a system does work on the surrounding, that is taken to be positive. So, work output from a system is always taken to be positive okay but when you have to do work for your servant then you feel unhappy so the work input to the system is always taken to be negative so these two sign conventions for heat interaction and work interaction are very very important okay so this finishes this video on work and heat transfer which gives you a basic idea of how the system interacts with the surroundings and the two sign conventions for the two interactions. Now, after this video, let's move on.
to a more mathematical portion of this topic and discuss about the displacement work.